Bam! Welcome back, baby. We're here for another video, and today I'm gonna do a little. Uh, I'm gonna call back to something that I taught before on my boy Chris Ramsey's channel. It's the Umsley count. Uh, I think uh, it's about time that uh, some of you need to learn it again. And this time on my channel. So let's get into the Umsley count. Let's just go. Okay, so the Elmsley count is actually called the ghost count. It was made by a nam by a nam 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 by a man named Alex Elmsley, and that's why they call it the Elmsley count, but it's really the ghost count. Uh, it's a move that you can hide one card as you're counting four, or you can count three cards as four, or a bunch of cards as four, but you're only showing three cards, which is kind of weird. So we're gonna dive down and show you how to do that shit. But before we do, just a few things that we should go over. Number one, you guys should be checking out lostartmagic.com where we have some great stuff coming up. Uh, I can't even tell you some of it because it's not finalized, but there's some dope stuff coming. Please go check it out. Also, uh, we're gonna be using my cards, the dead hands that you can get at no one.shop. All the links will be in the description below. So please go check that out. Thank you guys for all the support. Like, comment, and subscribe to develop if you want to be notified of the next video. Let's just jump into the, tuto the tutorial. I just want to say though, I'm I'm ready for this stuff to be, I'm ready for this to be over. I want I want the world back. I'm just saying. All right, comment if you want the world back too. Okay. Okay. So we'll start with the basic mechanics of the Elmsley count. Now to do that, we're going to use two cards and I'll show you how you can start doing the count. So what's going to happen is we're going to be counting these cards over and over, but we wanna make sure that our fingers don't move. So imagine imagine rolling snot. Remember when you were a kid, you used to do the thing and the da 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 da? You're probably doing it right now. That's what we're gonna do here. So what you're gonna do is slowly roll a piece of snot like that. That's all you're gonna do. That's the entire count with the hand where the count starts from. So you go here, now your thumb pushes. Okay, that's all you're doing, just pushing. As the thumb pushes, your other hand is gonna come over and it's gonna grab this card. Now the way I grab the card is a little bit different. I try to hold it like this, kind of a weird grip, but my thumb really isn't holding it. It's using the base of my thumb. My index finger is reaching up and around and grabbing the other corner of it and pulling down into my middle finger and that kind of braces it like that. So as you push off, the card goes in there. You're gonna come back, you're gonna replace it and you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna keep pushing with your thumb and that's just going to allow this to go back and forth like that. So when you get used to this, you can count these two cards as whatever number you want, all right? So in case you think I wasn't doing anything, it's like this, right? So you're just counting through. One, five, six, seven, eight, whatever you want. That's the basics of the beginning of the count. Now let's get to what really happens in the count. We're gonna add one more card. So now we're gonna do three cards. We're gonna do the same thing. This time though, I like to get a card ready by moving it over just a little bit so you can see some of the border. Now from here, I'm going to do the same wipe and begin to push. So now I, I pull and this card begins to push. I replace, I grab the card that's being pushed. I replace, grab the card that's being pushed. And this is another drill that we're going to do for a while to get used to doing it with multiple cards. So it's just here like that. So now if you wanna do the Elmsley count from here, you can. You can count one, two, three, four cards. There are a lot of tricks that use this. Uh, some of note that are some of my favorites is the magic four card trick by David Williamson. So this is part of what you're gonna be doing. And you can also add more cards to it, which is necessary for the routine as well. And I think you should go check out, uh, it's on Slide of Dave 2, I believe, or The Magic of Dave 1 or Magic Farm. Get all of them, they're dope, check them out. But anyway, so this is the beginning of the Elms account. Now we're not hiding a card here, we're just counting three cards. The, the purpose of the Elmsley count starts when we add another card. Now for just practice sake, I'm gonna turn it face up and you're gonna see that you don't see that card anymore. So as I count one, two, three, four, you only see the face down cards. 
of course that ends th that leaves this card at the bottom so you can no longer continuously count like you could with three cards or two cards but there is something else with this it counts the top card twice so keep this in mind so the two of hearts is the card we're hiding and the ace of hearts is the card that we're going to see twice so that's something to keep in mind when you're doing certain routines where this count becomes necessary because you're going to be showing the same card twice on the top. So just something to keep in mind. So now that we're here, it's the same basic thing. You're going to get ready, peel off the top card, and now when you push, you're pushing off a block of two. Because you're just squeezing, it just comes right off. So from here, if I just push, they just come right out together. There's nothing to think about. So you peel off the first one, push the block of two, replace the card at the bottom. The thumb grabs these two cards and you continue to count three and four. Now you wanna make sure that your rhythm is good here. You don't want to get held up in this one, two, three, four, right? Like that. Calm down, take it easy, take it slow. One, two, three, four cards, that's it. You don't wanna rush it. You don't need to rush it. Just work on the mechanics and it'll be fine. But now let's take this up a notch. So we have four cards, let's add four cards. There's three, there's four. Yeah, so now we have eight cards and we're going to count these as four. So there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four, same thing. And there's different displays you can do to show that there's only four cards. Uh, there's five, <laughs> but you know, where you can just kind of rub the cards around like this and show that there's only four. And then you can get rid of one. So there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. And now you get rid of one and there's still four cards, right? So there's lots of things you can do with this count and lots of routines that use the Elmsley count. And I just wanted to go over it again in case some of you forgot and to make you remember to work on this move, work on every move, because the, be the more you do it, the better you'll be at it. So one other thing that I'll talk about the Elmsley count super quick, and that is uh, how I see people do it. So a lot of times I see people start in this hand and end in the same hand. And that's not the point. The point is you're counting something. So you want to start in the other hand and then count into this one. You don't want to start in this hand because then you're just shuffling cards. So just remember, wherever you want the cards to end up, you start in the other hand. That's two, that's three, that's four. And then let's get rid of one. So that leaves us just a few cards. So there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. We'll just get rid of one of those again, it's fine. And that leaves us with a one, two, three, four cards. We'll get rid of one of those that just leaves us with one, right? So you wanna count from one hand to the other. You're ending up in this hand. And this is one of those moves that maybe you wanna practice in both hands. Not such a bad idea to wanna practice a move in both hands where you come over and you're doing the same type of thing, right? In, in both hands. Play around with it, get used to it. Try different things with it and enjoy it. Thanks again for watching the video. I hope you liked it. Go check out noan.shop. Go check out lostartmagic.com. Thank you guys for all the support. See you guys in the next video. Peace out. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. Even though I don't make no money. You've been there when the times get ugly. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. Even though I don't make no money. You've been there when the times get ugly. I'm